Greg, can we talk for a bit? Francine, what's up? I wanted to talk to you about Grandma. Do you have a second? Is everything okay? Did she get sick or something? If she had, I wouldn't be sitting here calmly texting you, don't you think? She's already 80, right? And she's not getting any younger. I figured we should discuss our plans for the future. Have you put some thought into it? Plans for the future? What do you mean? I mean, she's stuck living at that big house alone. You don't expect her to do that forever, right? She's gonna go stir crazy cooped up there. She's been complaining about her hips, too. I'm worried about her. That house is in the middle of nowhere, too. What if something happens to her? We might not even be able to reach her in time. So I wanted to ask you if maybe we should start thinking about putting her into a retirement home or something. What do you think? A home? Where would we get the money for that? I certainly don't have it. And I don't think you do either. Okay, how about this? If we sell the old house, that should give us enough, right? I was actually looking into this a bit over the past few days, and what I found seemed kind of promising. Apparently, we can get a pretty good price for the land where Grandma lives. Really? Are you sure? What kind of research did you do? I just made a few calls to a couple local real estate agents. They all said about the same thing. I called around some local retirement homes, too. I found a couple that seemed pretty good. They basically let her live an independent life and just check in on her every now and then. I think that might be good for Grandma. You know how she always wants to do everything herself. You really have been thinking about this, huh? I don't know, though. Is that really what she wants? Maybe we should think about this a bit more. Like, she really enjoys that house, doesn't she? I don't know if she'll want to give it up so easily. And having to move to a new area... Well, I don't want to force her if she doesn't want it, of course. I just wanted to ask you about it. You know, I'm just worried about her living alone so far away and all. I'd love to be able to move in and live with her at the house, but unfortunately, I don't think it'll work out with my job and everything. The hours are brutal sometimes. I guess she could always move in with me, but I'm sure she wouldn't want that. She always puts up a fuss about troubling people and stuff. It really wouldn't be any issue for me, but I don't want her to feel guilty. So I've been thinking about it a lot and really think a retirement home might be the best solution for her. What if I started living with her at her house then? What? You do that? Don't you have a family? Can you really just up and move like that? What about your wife? What will she think? Will Marie really be okay with just packing up everything and moving like that? That's a pretty big ask, especially on such short notice, right? Oh, don't worry about that. I think she'll be fine with it. We've actually been talking about something like this recently. She was telling me that she wasn't doing well adjusting to city life. I think the more relaxed pace of the countryside is just what the doctor ordered, you know? Really? Well, I guess that wouldn't be so bad if you're honestly okay with it. Grandma's place is actually pretty nice. I think it might be perfect for Marie, too. Like, it's only a 30-minute drive from the city. That's basically a suburb. And it's pretty quiet around Grandma's house, too. Just a nice little countryside town. I mean, I guess. If peace and quiet is what you're looking for, it's definitely nice. But what about you? Will you be able to go to work and stuff okay? Oh, it's no problem at all. Recently, I've been able to work from home anyway, so it's not an issue. Really? Did you change jobs or something? What happened to the last company you were working for? Oh, that place was no good for my mental health. The work-life balance was awful, and they had me working like a dog for pennies to the dollar. I knew I had to get out of there, so I quit. The gig I got now was great. I get to work from home, and I'm actually making bank here compared to the last place. You managed to break free from the corporate world? Good for you, man. So you can pretty much work from anywhere now? And you're sure the pay is all right? I'm actually kind of surprised. It doesn't seem like you to go for something like that. Maybe not before, but it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, you know? You gotta change for the times or you're gonna get left behind. 
Well, I make it sound simple, but it's not like it's without its problems, too, of course. Can't stay cooped up all day and all, right? But it works out pretty well for everyone, don't you think? Sounds like a win-win to me. I get to keep working, and Grandma gets some company. No problems there, right? I guess that's fine. But let's ask Grandma what she thinks before we make any moves, okay? Yeah, good call. Thanks for bringing this up. I can go back to her place and say hi in the next few days, and we can talk about it then. Oh, do you want me to come too? I don't know if you need to soften the blow or something. Nah, don't worry about it. You got work and everything to worry about, right? You just take it easy and leave everything to me. It's fine. I haven't seen her this month yet, so I should probably go and drop by at some point soon. You were visiting her every month? Really? Well, you know, like I said, I'm worried about her. And I bet I can guess that you haven't been to see her in a while. <laughs> you got me there. All the more reason why I should be the one to do this now. Grandma did so much for us. I need to help pay back her kindness. She raised us like her own kids after mom and dad passed, after all. Now it's our turn to care for her. If I don't at least live with her, I feel like I'll face some kind of karmic retribution someday. Just make sure she's comfortable with all this first, okay? We don't want to put her on the spot. And if you suddenly just decide to live with her out of the blue, she might need some time to adjust. Just give her some time to process all this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna force her or anything. Don't worry about that. I'll talk to her and let you know what she says. Have a good night. Hi, Greg. How's it going with Grandma? You started living with her, right? Is Marie doing all right, too? Is country living everything she dreamed of? Everything and more, baby. She loves it here. Grandma's living her best life, too. She basically spends all day in the fields. She basically only pops back in for dinner and then disappears again. Oh, Grandma, come on. I told her she needs to stop working already. I know I shouldn't complain too much about her work ethic, but she needs to just take a break sometimes, too. Well, it's what she wants to do, right? Like you said, that's the most important thing, isn't it? We should be thankful she's active and able to move around at all. I guess, but in a way, it's kind of like both a blessing and a curse. I'm still worried about her. What if something happens to her? She's in good hands, trust me. I'll make sure she doesn't work too hard. And Marie basically took over all of the housework. If anything, Grandma's working less than she used to. She seems to be thankful for Marie's kitchen skills, too. Grandma and I both looked out with her, huh? <laughs> I guess I can't argue with that. Thanks for helping out with everything. Sounds like things are going well. I've been worried about Grandma for a long time. I'm glad you're there for her. Me too. But I gotta say, she's been acting kind of strange recently. Huh? In what way? She's been acting kind of dazed lately. It's like she doesn't seem all there sometimes. Seriously? That doesn't seem right. Last time I saw her, she seemed like her normal self. Well, I'm the one living with her, and I definitely picked up on it. Maybe it's just something you have to be around her all the time to see. She is over 80 now, too. She's not going to be as sharp as she used to be. A bit of aching hips and some mental fogginess isn't exactly unusual. I don't think you have to worry too much about it. I mean, you say that, but I guess I just want to see her for myself now. I'll come and visit sometime soon, okay? Can you make time? Weren't you just here? I'm sure it's fine. Don't push yourself. You don't live close by and work is busy, right? That's what you were telling me before. But you said she wasn't doing well. Forget it. She's fine, okay? Don't worry about it. If something happens, I'll let you know. You just focus on your own life. I don't know, though. Are you sure she's okay? Although, maybe we should move her to a home after all. Why? So something did happen? Nah, nothing major yet. She's doing okay for now. But it's only a matter of time, right? With her age and all. If she starts to lose more of her mental faculties, it's gonna be tough for all of us to keep living together. 
That's true. But she really is okay for now? Oh yeah, no problems here. But you brought up moving her to a home not too long ago, right? I talked to grandma about it, and she doesn't seem to be against the idea either. Maybe we should think about going through with it depending on how things go here. Okay, then what about the house? Do we really sell it? Actually, I was thinking about staying here myself. It might be more convenient that way too. Like we usually all come back here for the holidays, right? If we get rid of the house, what will we do then? I won't argue that the house is nice to have and all. But what about the money? It won't be cheap to get a nice retirement home, you know. If we don't sell the house, do you have a plan? Grandma's got some savings, right? I'm sure it wouldn't hurt her to dip into those just a bit. She's always kept a pretty tight purse. But we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We might need that money someday. I prefer to not rely on our savings if we don't have to. It's just safer that way, you know? Of course, I can pitch in a bit too if we're really in a pinch. I don't know if it'll be enough, though. Unfortunately, I can't say I'm in a position to do the same. Sorry, sis. Yeah, I know. You've got your family to take care of and all. We can find another way to make it work. We're just discussing options at the moment, right? Yeah. Thanks for understanding, Fran. I wish I could do more, but you know how it is sometimes. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on Grandma, and then we can make a decision sometime later, okay? We don't have to hurry and jump to any conclusions right now. I guess. Just be careful, okay? Let me know if anything happens. Francine, are you there? Can I call you? Sorry, I'm on the bus right now and it's pretty crowded. Can you text instead? What happened? Is everything okay? All right, I want you to stay calm and not freak out. Can you do that? Grandma's gone. I can't find her anywhere. What? What do you mean gone? Where'd she go? She hasn't come back home since this afternoon. I don't know where she could have went. Are you kidding me? Why would she leave? I'm serious. And I have no idea. Did you call the police? Someone has to look for her. I let them know and they said they keep an eye out. What could have happened to her? Do you have any idea? I bet she forgot where she lives and she's just wandering around somewhere. I told you she was starting to lose it, didn't I? That's ridiculous. She wouldn't forget something like her own address so fast. She's been living at the same house for decades now. Do you know how dementia works at all? I told you to stay calm. You don't have to get so angry. Besides, I don't know what else it could be, unless you have any bright ideas. She just decided to walk out without telling us or anything. Grandma, what could have happened to you? Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. See you soon. Even if you came, what difference would it make? It's not like we'd magically find her with one more pair of eyes. There's got to be some clue or something as to where she went. I don't believe she'd just walk out for no reason. It just doesn't make sense. And besides, you know she doesn't have the best legs. She couldn't have gone that far. If anyone can help find Grandma, it's me. Don't count me out so easily. I've been looking for her too. I've been out calling her name for the past few hours. But I can't find her at all. Like I said, she's gone. I don't care. I'm coming and that's final. See you soon. Okay. Sorry about all this. Be careful on your way here. Don't rush and get yourself into an accident. I'm fine. I can make it there quickly enough. I'll let you know when I'm nearby. Hey, Francine. I just heard back from the police. They said you came to the station to get her and took her with you. Why would you do that? She was fine here. <laughs> You're right. I can't hide it anymore anyway. She's with me. I guess she told you everything then, huh? You mean how you basically kept her as your slave the whole time you were living together? How Marie would constantly throw shoes and stuff at her and leave horrible bruises? 
Or do you mean how the two of you literally chased her out of her own house? I guess the cat's out of the bag. It's a relief to me not to have to pretend everything's fine anymore, too. You're heartless. How could you do this? After all she did to raise us two. What's the matter with you? I'll be taking care of Grandma from now on. I never want to hear from you ever again. You're going to take care of her all by yourself? You really think you can do that? You do you. <laughs> Just don't bring her back here, okay? Now that she's gone, we finally have the place to ourselves. We finally get some peace and quiet here for once. You two are in big trouble. I hope you're ready for what comes next because it's not going to be pretty for you. Oh, such big talk. Should I be scared? <laughs> what are you and that old bag going to do? <laughs> do you have any idea of how bad the things you did even are? That's actually disgusting. How could you do this to the woman who raised you like her own son? She did everything for us. Oh my god, shut up. I knew you were going to scream about this if you found out. Ugh. Whatever. Why does it even matter? It's not like she's got that much time left anyway. Why should it matter what she thinks? She never really cared about me, so I don't really care about her. I only let her leave for your sake anyway. My sake? Why do you even care about me? I mean, taking care of that old bag is tough for a single woman, right? I didn't think you'd be able to handle it, so I figured she'd be better off on her own. I mean, what kind of guy would want to marry a woman who's already taking care of someone else? Would you even have time to take care of a husband? So Marie and I decided we'd just let her find her own way from now on. I just wanted us to have a little bit more freedom. You should be grateful that you have an older brother like me willing to look out for you. I can't believe you! You were the one talking about getting with the times, but that garbage logic belongs in the past, you creep. Why don't you let me decide what I want to do for myself? And poor grandma was telling the police she couldn't go home. You traumatized her. She said you wouldn't even give her any of our contact information. Yeah, because I knew you were going to get like this and get hysterical. I wish you would have just stayed quiet and avoided this whole thing. She did stay quiet. She was feeling so awful that she didn't even want to open up to the police. They had to look through her luggage to find anything. Oh, really? Good for her, then. I'll never forgive you for this. I'm going to make you pay for this somehow. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. I'd like to see you try. Do whatever you want. That old bag is out of my life now and we're better off for it. Thanks for taking her off our hands for us. When you get tired of her, don't come crawling back to us. We don't want her anymore. I did my part and fulfilled my duty. What's left is your responsibility. Hey, what's the big idea? Why are there people here saying the house is for sale? Did you do this? We're still living here. I never said anything about giving it up. Funny you should mention that, because it turns out it's not exactly your decision to make. You know who owns the deed to the house? Grandma does. So she happens to be the one with the final say about that. Maybe you should start thinking about packing up soon. I told you not to bother me about the old lady stuff anymore. This is a losing battle. Just give up and let go. This isn't old lady stuff at all. We're talking about the house now. Grandma has nothing to do with it. Besides, in this case, you're the one bothering her. You kicked her out of her own house, remember? Anyway, we called the bank and they're going to send a team to demolish the house so they can reclaim the land next month. So you should leave unless you want your stuff to go down with it. Why should I? I'm the one who lives here. Don't I get to have a say in this? Maybe if it was actually your house, you might. But you're freeloading without the owner's permission. That's against the law, you know. You can't do this to me. I have a right to inherit the house. What's the big deal if I live here or not? You can't just kick me out. Where am I going to go? It doesn't matter how old you are. You don't own the house. Grandma does. She's got the deed and everything. It's all in her name. 
That's not so hard to understand, right? So what? You can't just demolish the house when someone's living in it. That's not fair. What kind of sister does that to her own brother? Marie and I aren't leaving, so just give it up. God, you're the worst. You're really desperate, aren't you? So does that mean you two are willing to go to court for it? Because Grandma and I are ready to sue the two of you for neglect. Sue? You're not serious, are you? You really want it to come down to that? What proof do you even have? You didn't disagree earlier, right? When I told you that Marie would throw stuff at Grandma and leave bruises? I didn't say that. Besides, you don't have any proof of that, do you? It's her word against ours. Only the medical certificate she got when she went to the hospital to get her bruises checked out. Is that good enough proof for you? If not, there's also the police officer who Grandma told about you chasing her out of the house. His testimony might be worth something, but I don't know. Maybe you could tell me. I think we've got a pretty airtight case, but it's up to you. What do you have to say about that? Jeez, Francine. Suing your own brother? That's low, even for you. Why don't you take a step back and actually think about this? Maybe you should just calm down for a second. Selling the house? Suing your brother? Wow. It's just you and me against the world, you know. We don't have anyone else to call family. Yeah, except for, you know, the one person who raised us on her own as her own children. But oh, wait, you kicked her out of her own house. Do you even realize what you're saying? You're seriously sick. I knew you were nasty, but I didn't know you were this bad. Look, I told you, it was all for your sake. I just want the best for you, you know? That's why I let her leave. At least believe that. Can't you realize I just want you to be happy? Um, what? <laughs> yeah, right. You didn't let her leave. And you don't care about me or my happiness either. I know what you were doing. You just wanted the house for yourself all along, didn't you? Now what are you talking about? More bogus claims? Grandma told me everything. That work from home job you told me about. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You weren't working at all. In fact, Grandma said you actually got fired from your last job. You just wanted to move back to the house so you could live rent-free, didn't you? That's the real reason. If you were living there, you knew we wouldn't sell the house. Hey, hold on a second. Just let me explain myself. I really did want to help Grandma at first when I moved in. That was always the plan. But she was so rude to Marie. Grandma couldn't stand how she did anything. It got on our last nerves and we had to do something about it. Well, you could have always talked to her about it. Or, you know, just left. After all, as I reminded you before, Grandma was the one letting you stay in her house. So your decision was to torture her until she left her own house? Even you've got to realize how twisted that is, right? Look, Francine, I'm sorry, but what do you want me to say? I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. You should be telling that to Grandma. And besides, it's a bit late for that now. I suppose you've got a bit of a point. I guess I should apologize to Grandma. Okay, how about this then? I'll meet up to apologize and then get out of your life. You can cut me out and never talk to me again and we'll call it even. Sounds good to me. If you never show your face to me and Grandma again, it'll be too soon. Fine by me. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but I guess we don't have a choice. But in exchange, can I get one last favor? Could you transfer the house to my name before Grandma passes away? Oh my god. I'm actually speechless. Please, you're never gonna see me again anyway, right? And besides, I'm her grandson, right? She doesn't have any family besides us anyway. It's not like you're using the house, right? Who's gonna miss it if I take it a bit early? You don't have to be petty about it. I'm gonna get the house eventually anyway, right? So why does it matter whether it's before or after she passes? And you called me disgusting earlier. Just how far are you gonna go with this? 
You really are a monster. I mean, your own grandmother. What is actually wrong with you? You talk about her like she doesn't exist. She's still alive and well, despite the nonsense you tried to give me before. I'm begging you, just let me have this. If I don't have the house, I'm screwed. What do you think I'm going to do if I get kicked out? It'll be a sucky situation for everyone. Think about what happens if we lose that house. We have so many memories there, right? And how am I supposed to live? I told you before I was going to make you pay, right? You told me to go right ahead. And if you were hoping to get anything from the well, well, I hope you weren't praying too hard for a nice windfall. Because I talked to Grandma about it, and you're not going to get a penny from her. She already cut you out of the inheritance entirely. Did you honestly expect anything else? You won't get the house. You won't get the inheritance. You're not getting anything. And there's no way that's going to change while she's still alive and kicking either, you weirdo. No way. Nothing. Give me a break. Duh. After everything you did, you think you deserve one? Did you honestly believe you could treat a poor old woman like dirt and then turn around and still get a nice little bonus from her after all that? Gee, I wonder why you got fired. Wow, rude. Then what am I supposed to do? Okay, let's say I took out some loans that kind of need to be paid back. If I didn't get that money, my life would basically be over. What would you want me to do then? Hypothetically, some of those people that I would have borrowed money from might not be the most upstanding of people. In that case, if I didn't pay them back, you don't know what could happen to me. Not that I'd ever do that, of course. Hmm. In that case, it would hypothetically be your problem and not ours, right? Maybe if you wanted to borrow money, you should have thought about the consequences of your actions for once in your frickin' life. It would really be too bad if that didn't happen, because I don't think there would be anything me or Grandma would or could do about it. And it would sure be a shame if you had to pay for a lawsuit on top of that hypothetical debt. I don't want to imagine how much extra that would cost. I'm giving you one last chance here, okay? Get out of the house or we'll sue. I don't think you have much of a leg to stand on here. Seems like a pretty cut and dry case to me. Francine, please, I'm begging you. You can't do this to me. You gotta help me, please. This is really bad. If I don't get that money, I'm actually dead meat. I'll do anything, please, I swear. I'll apologize, I'll do whatever you want. I'll get down on my hands and knees and kiss her feet. Just give me a chance. Grandma's hurt, you know. Not only physically, but mentally. She raised you like her own son and this is how you treat her? She feels like you stabbed her in the back and ripped out her trust. That's not just something you can get back by begging and pleading. What you've done is completely unforgivable. You're not her grandson anymore. You're not my brother anymore. You're an embarrassment to our family. I never want to talk to you again. Get out of my life. You've burned your last bridge. At this point, leaving forever is the only thing you can do to repay your grandmother. After that, Greg and Marie came by over and over again to apologize. But when we got a lawyer involved and served Marie her court notice, that was the last we heard of them. The next day, they were already out of the house. Who knows where they fled to? Grandma never actually intended to press charges. She just wanted to light a fire under them. And most of all, she was just glad to have her house back. Not long after that, we heard from the loan sharks that were in charge of Greg's debt. They told me that he was already falling behind on his payments even before he left the house. I let them know all the places I thought he might have fled to. So I suppose it's only a matter of time before he gets caught. And just in case this debt ends up leading to any problems for me or grandma... I'll just have to find him and make sure he takes responsibility for himself. I hope it doesn't come to that and he'll be able to do what he can to take care of his own skin. In the end, Grandma came down to live with me. She felt guilty about it the whole time and wouldn't stop blaming herself. But after everything that happened, there was no way I was going to let her live on her own. I begged her to let me take care of her, and she eventually relented. 
To tell the truth, that line about grandma going to the hospital and getting the medical report was actually a lie she came up with. But if she could think up something like that, I was sure I didn't have anything to worry about her disappearing on me anytime soon. Thankfully, she seems to be enjoying her days living with me in the big city. I don't know how much more time the two of us will have being able to live together like this. But I can't wait to spend as much time with her as I can for as long as we're able to. Being able to be together with her gives me all the happiness I'll ever need. Thank you as always for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe.